Hi, I'm Dr. Rahul Bharad. I welcome you all to my series What Life Has Taught Me Yesterday. Today when I'm recording this video is 12th of October 2023. I'll be talking what 11th of October has taught me in life. Yesterday I came across a news item where uh, many of us are getting affected with that. The news is related to the financial influencers. They are also called as finfluencers across the social media. Now, who are these financial influencers? These are the people who advise you to buy a particular stock or to sell a particular stock or they try to uh, give information related to the stock market or investment or etc. Uh, various financial instruments. Now, SEBI, which is the regulating body in India, that is Security Exchange Board of India, has come across heavily and put many restrictions on the on their discussions and what are the things they should allow. So what is the lesson I got from that news I'll be discussing in this video about the Finfluencers. Most important news I came across yesterday is also about the freedom of speech I would say. Freedom of speech is very important. Arundhati Roy uh, has been recently uh, uh, given some treatment or uh, she has received some legal notices regarding the speech which she had given in 2010. Now she had uh, spoken a controversial sentence at a, at a program in 2010 related to the Kashmir. Now this is also related to freedom of speech. What is that news I will be discussing in this video. And about the most trending news I came across yesterday. Now, we all know recently uh, 2023 all Nobel prizes have been declared. Nobel Prize for the Peace Prize for this year 2023 has been given, awarded to Nargis Mohammadi. She is Iranian social activist. What is the work she had done in Iran? Why she has been given this prestigious global Nobel Peace Prize award? I will be discussing in the trending news section in this video. About the most important lesson I got from yesterday is also about the freedom of speech I would say. Now, what are the things which are allowed to be spoken on a social media platform like YouTube or Instagram or various Twitter or which is also called as X is, a, is always a subject of debate, I would say. How much a person can talk freely uh, on social media is also another uh, hot topic, I would say. SEBI has restricted influencers, that is financial influencers from uh, speaking too much on the uh, social media platforms about the financial instruments and investments because they say that if a person is having a lot of following that is, that is some million followers are there even if that person says that you invest in this thing or you don't invest in this thing that definitely has a bigger impact on the investment and that should not happen SEBI uh, restricts people from uh, investing based only on the social media influences and that is why they have regulated it now this is this was on the cards this was going to happen what is the most important lesson for me as a uh, common citizen of this country is that there is always a faint line between uh, how much restriction we should put on anyone and how much freedom of speech should be given to anyone so this is also uh, under the same category i would say Influencers, uh, most of them were having good social media reach. They were educating people. Now, I personally experience that over the last 5-6 years, I have been watching some of the videos of these influencers and they have given a wonderful informative videos on many of their social platforms. So, I am not against them that they were influencing people wrongly. But obviously, when your following rises and most of most of the people start following you and they get influenced by you they start uh, investing just based on the tips people don't want to do research people don't want to do their own analysis though most of the uh, influencers would definitely dis give, give a disclaimer or they would talk while talking also they would say that you consult your financial expert or advisor and then only you invest don't believe what I say while investing but still people would uh, blindly follow them and once they get losses 
they will register a complaint against in police against them in police or various social media or various exchange boards or regulatory authorities like sebi so that should not happen freedom of speech should be allowed that's what i feel what is your opinion about that i'll be uh, please i'll be very much happy to know about that recently one of the financial influencers has been uh, given a penalty of almost 6 crore rupees for option trading now we all know option trading is a very risky thing as far as investment is concerned what i mean to say by discussing this video today in this video today is that there should be adequate freedom of speech for any financial influencers at the same time there should be restrictions also to what extent these people should talk about these financial instruments so it there should be clear cut guidelines i would uh, urge sebi and all the authority and regulatory authority to put specific protocol and guidelines for how much people should talk about these things and how much they should leave on the people to decide so that would solve the issue to some extent so most important lesson i got from that is that freedom of speech is important it is must you, know, you cannot restrict any person's freedom of speech be it any regulatory authority but at the same time people also should concise their uh, should know their limitations of how much they should speak out on a public platform like youtube or social media like uh, instagram or x most important news i came across yesterday is also about freedom of speech arundhati roy a well known 61 year author of booker prize award a well known writer has been given a legal notice about the speech she had given in 2010 now we all know it's been 13 years that she had given this speech and it was a controversial speech where she had spoken about a, 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 an area which is there which belongs to india and she said in that speech that this area of the himalayas does not belong to india now this speech goes against the constitution of india goes against the laws of the land so she has been given legal notice about this speech she has not commented recently most important news i have selected this because this is also related to freedom of speech when an author or a writer gives some speech or if you are a right uh, activist definitely you will def you will be criticizing the government at, at any point so how much a person should be allowed to criticize the government and how much government should uh, not consider them as a legal threat or a terrorist in this country is a big question i'll be sharing link in the description box about that news if you really want to know what is that speech all about and when did she give uh, one of the person who is also three other people also have been accused of all this legal notice and that speech one person has already died during the last 13 years now she has received that legal notice for that uh, speech i'll be sharing link in the description box if you really want to know more about that arundhati roy news please go to the description box and click on the link most trending news i came across yesterday is about nobel peace prize now just now i have talked about finfluencers uh, freedom of speech then arundhati roy's freedom of speech there is a person there is a lady in iran who had been actively helping all the socially uh, regretted people and socially challenged people in iran there has been significant uh, social degradation in iran over the last few years and she has stood up against all those odds she had been to prisons for so many years almost twice she had been to uh, prison in that country from 2016 to 2020 to 2020 and in 2021 also she went to prison she has been an active social member of all the people who are fighting against all the harsh realities there uh, acted by the government and sh- her name is uh, nargis mohammadi she has received nobel peace prize for the year 2023 now we all know uh, nobel prize is given to all the all the selected and very special people only those who influence many people across the globe are selected for this prize now she has been received uh, she has been given Uh, she has been selected to be given this peace prize i'll be sharing link where you will get more details about who is nargis mohammadi and what exact work she has done but uh, by reading that article you will come to know how 
how great people are uh, how fantastic work they do for their how uh, their childhood experiences also ultimately lead them to become a stronger person in future so for today we'll stop here i hope you people are liking this all these discussions what is your opinion about freedom of speech please do tell me in the comment box for today we'll stop here bye bye